hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm anita and thanks for tuning in and to my returning subscribers the love is deep i appreciate you all okay today's video is going to be about um some culture shock i had as a Ghanaian living in portugal so let's get straight into the video one is the public display of affection oh my god <laughs> it's so nice to me it's so nice it's so nice you see people around walking around kissing holding hands smooching a lot showing love in public is normal in portugal and to me it's very cute it's very nice too but back in my country um it's not normal no it's not normal if you are sitting outside kissing or something how you'll be looked at <laughs> no it's not normal and that side i love it so much with the public display of affection it's it's cute it's cute the second shock is their time yes they don't portuguese don't joke with their time at all if it is going to the hospital going to the salon book an appointment except it's an emergency yes at the hospitals and all that yes and that is it they don't joke with their time at all they take their time very serious the third one is their pets <laughs> Portuguese don't joke with their pets. They, they take very good care of their pets. They they treat their pets as humans. Some even live, most of them live with their pets in their house. Yes. And they take them to to the vet and all that. They they bath them. You can see some dogs with nice outfits and all that. It's cute. They take very good care of their of their pets. The Portuguese, they spend a lot of money taking good care of their pets. So this is one of the things I, I, I saw and I've seen here in Portugal, yes. And I've, I realized that every city, every small city has a supermarket. Yes, every small city or village has a, a supermarket or a hypermarket. Being it, it can be continent, it can be Lido, it can be Intermarché, it can be Audi. And these supermarkets have everything available, needed for the house. They have everything there. This is one of the shocks I, I had there. So one other shock I had is the smoking habit of Portuguese. Every corner every every place you see people smoking being it's adults teenagers to them it's normal it's very normal to see people smoking outside yes and one thing they don't do is this they don't smoke indoors they have some metal containers outside after smoking you can just put it off and place the rest of the cigar inside yes and i saw parents smoking in front of their kids and all that and to them uh, they think it's normal it's very normal but back in my country ghana no <laughs> no you you don't see people smoking outside even if they smoke they hide it they hide it they hide to smoke and if you smoke here sometimes you are tagged a, a, a bad a bad person yes a, ba a bad kid if you are a child and you smoke you are tagged a bad kid and the adults you are tagged as bad you don't need to smoke so they hide to smoke yes and that's 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 one of the shocks i had to yes. and one other shock i had is they don't joke portuguese don't joke with their bread 
they have different kinds of bread they have different kinds of bread in portugal and they have bread on their table during lunch during dinner yes it's part of their eating habits too they don't joke with their bread at all bread is on the table so if you need some you take it during the the eating time yes yeah, so whilst you are eating you add your bread to it and that's one of the shocks i had to end one other shock i had is the queijo after after lunch after dinner they take their queijo with bread <laughs> and they have different kinds of queijo queijo is cheese they 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 are they call cheese queijo yes that is one of the shocks i had and the last shock i'll be talking about is the buying of sacks um, at the supermarkets in portugal they call it sack yes so after buying your grocery and all that when you get to where you you need to pay for it they ask you do you want to buy a sack yes and if if you don't want to buy you bring some sack from the house so that you pack your grocery in, inside and in my back in my country no if you buy groceries or something you are given a free sack to put it inside so in all these are some of the shocks i had as a Ghanaian, even in portugal so i would like to end the video here and if you enjoyed watching this video kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that anytime I post, you get notified. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.